Ciao a tutti e benvenuto Rossoneri Milan 4 1 Sampdoria Grande ragazzi Grande ragazzi Milanisti, I'm going to start today with my man of the match, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. 10 goals and 5 assists since he joined, and that is only since January. I don't get how this guy completely defies aging. He just said this in the post-match interview. Not even the goals and assists, but he's just taking bodies left and right. And I'm not even interested in the highlights. Just look at this guy drinking water. What a macho man. Imagine how sexy he looks brushing his teeth. Zlatan Ibrahimovic! Zlatan Ibrahimovic! Let's go! I love you, Zlatan! Bellissimo, Zlatan! Bellissimo! Milan has to keep this guy for one more year. They look so dangerous when he's on the field. It is absolutely maddening what this 38-year-old is doing to this resurgent Milan side. Milanisti, I've got an insider from a top-tier source in Italy, almost as good as Fabrizio Romano. This guy told me that Zlatan, when he looks into the mirror, he doesn't see anything because there's only one Zlatan. Since the restart of the Serie A, we have scored 32 goals and conceded only 12 with a goal difference of plus 20 goals and an average of 2.91 goals a game. Mwah! Bellissimo ragazzi! Look, the only major difference between Juventus and any other top Serie A side that has posed them a threat in the recent years has been their consistency. And Milan, for the first time in a decade, is showing consistency. And if we can improve that right flank and get some depth in the midfield and the defense, we can be a consistent team next season. Rebic, I'm so sorry you missed the last match and won't be able to feature in our sexy kits designed for next year. My highlight of the game from this guy was when he exposed the absolute bitch face that Gaston Ramirez is. Just a little slap, no big deal. Milanisti, the only way I see Rebic leaving Milan is if Dana White hires him for the UFC. On a serious note, the home kit, Donnarumma's kit and the training jersey were revealed yesterday and they are absolutely sexy. Look at what Milano is producing. There's this and then there's this. I'm considering getting one of these with Zlatan on the back and also one of these because, you know, the pandemic has really left America with a toilet paper shortage and I really need something to wipe my ass with. Gigio Donnarumma, what a prodigy you are. 35% of the penalties on him he has saved. These are stats you will not see anywhere across Europe. God damn, Donnarumma! Donnarumma! How many penalties are you gonna save? He scored two penalties in the last two games and he's not even 22 years old. What more can you ask from this guy? Perfetto, Gigio Donnarumma. Too bad that lately the only goals you've been conceding are people turning into prime David Beckham. You can't really do anything about that. Mino Raiola is trying to add a 50 million buyout clause in his contract renewal and AC Milan has not agreed to that. I like that. I hope the contract renewal is very solid. And honestly, honestly, he's so good. I'll pitch in. Gigio, you need money? I I I'll...
Gabia and Kier, another solid performance. I'm glad that Gabia is getting some time next to Kier because Kier is such a commanding influence at defense and he's willing to do all the dirty work and make Gabia learn and also become a more influential figure on the ground. Looking at Kier barking out orders across the field and also distributing the ball to perfection across the field makes me so happy. It makes me believe that there is a God and he saw all of us struggle for years with Musakio and now he has given us Kier for a little minute petite 3.5 million. While I'm talking about the defense, a quick shout out to my cousin Calabria. That was a great ball across to Ibrahimovic, which turned into an assist for Hakan Chala Nolu. Hakan Chala Nolu, you Turkish delight, bellissimo Hakan, has contributed to 15 goals since the restart. Six goals, eight assists, there's interest across Europe, and this is what he had to say a couple of days ago. I cannot love this guy more right now. Milanisti, here's another great stat about Hakan Chalanolu. He is the first player since Ricardo Kaká of 2008 to be involved in at least one goal in five appearances in a row. Bravissimo, Hakan. Bravissimo. Tu se tutta la mia vita. Thank you, Hakan. Along with Ibra and a couple others, you exploited Sampdoria's defense really nicely. The only worse thing than Sampdoria's defense today was the Premier Sports and ESPN commentators. Mario Gabbia? Stefano Piolo? Hakan Chalalulu? Maybe your Lulu and your brain are too small to get the pronunciations right, but this is our star player and this is your job, so get it fucking right! Kessie and Benasser, they weren't as commanding as they have been recently, but still a decent and solid performance by them. In my humble opinion, one of the primary jobs to do in this upcoming transfer market is to get a swap man for Kessie and Benasser because these two cannot play 50 games in the season. You have to rotate and rest them to get the best out of them all season long. Oh, 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 Rafael, yeah. This guy can work on his positioning and especially his off the ball attitude and movement. My oh my, we have something on our hands. Another year training with and under the influence of Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Signora Signori, we have a flower at full bloom. Here's some of Pioli's post match comments. I don't know if it's Zlatan, Pioli, Maldini, or Rossonari TV, but we have been unbeaten in 11 games now. All in all, the boys absolutely deserve this month-long break after a phenomenal show post-COVID. Grande ragazzi! Grande ragazzi! Milanisti, this is your boy Ari and you're watching Rossonari TV. Please give me a like, subscribe and comment below on what you want from this channel. What do you want in the transfer market? What do you want next season to be like? Unless if you're an Inter fan, in that case, go order your ugly shirt, wear it and look at yourself in the mirror and think about where your life is going. Think about how you can make it better. Ciao tu.